right, quick tip about cutting pockets with a bull bit. There's a little gotcha that can get you in trouble and ruin your project. Here we have four circles, and we're going to progressively uh, get closer and closer to getting this ring. On the first circle here, we are going to select it, come over to our pocketing toolpath, which is what I've done here. Open this up. We have our bit. We're going to cut down to 0.6 inches and see what happens. So if we calculate that out, run our simulation, we have a pocket and what looks to be a rough bottom. And in the real world, uh, we have the same thing. Uh, we have a rough bottom and this weird lip that we want to try to get rid of. But let's deal with the rough bottom first. We can address the rough bottom by increasing the step over. So on pocket two, doing the same thing, hit the pocketing bit, exact same, starting at zero, going to 0.6. But under my tool, I'm gonna change my step over from 25% to 5%. And when I simulate that, play, that looks good, looks smooth. Our real world cut, uh, bottom looks good, still have that lip. Uh, the downside though is that took quite a while to cut compared to the first one because it's overlapping so much now in these small little pockets it's not a big deal but if you're doing a big bowl or something it could add a lot of time to your project so to fix that what most people will do is two separate passes so we have that here on pocket three so our first pass we are going to go down almost to the bottom so we're going to go 0.55 we're going to do our 25%. We have our rough bottom exactly the same as pocket one, except now it's 50 thou taller. And we're going to fix that by doing a second pass. And if we start at 0.55 and go down 50 thou, um, so we end up at our 0.6, you would think that would work, but this is what happens. We have a smooth bottom, uh, but our hole got bigger. And in the real world, uh, we got this. All right, so this is what we have left um, and bad things happen. So what happened? And if our bit comes down and we stop at this first blue line, we're going to represent our 0.55 deep and we cut and then we do a second profile and we come down to our destination um, because of the curve in our bit. Uh, we are away from the edge, of what would be our circle. So Vetric pushes our bit in uh, and we get this big undercut and it'll just screw up your piece. And best case scenario, uh, we have a undercut that doesn't look good. Worst case scenario, it has a big undercut. And then when it tries to remove the tool, it gets caught and rips your piece off the table like you saw happen with us. So how do we fix that? Well, we fix that by doing one little change. So in pocket four here, uh, you will see that we did the exact same thing for the first, started at zero, went to 0.55 and 25%. Step over. And here's the secret. We do another pass, but instead of starting at 0.55, we start at zero and we go to the depth we want. And we tell it to do it in a single pass here. And this one has our 5% step over. And by setting it at zero, it respects the outside boundary and it'll go down and give us our nice cut. If we don't set this to one pass, it'll just cut air and cut air and cut air and then finally get down there. And in the end, we'll be slower than pocket two was. So if we simulate this, all right, that looks good. And real world. Uh, bottom looks good. Uh, we didn't crash our machine and we just have this uh, little lip. So what caused that lip? Well, that lip was caused from our bit coming down and it does our first pass. Let's say this height and the corner of our bit has that arc. And then we came down for our second pass and it used the flat part of the bit and came over. And let's say that was our second pass. Uh, so we would get this little edge and you fix that by just doing more passes coming down. So 
your depth of your cut can't be deeper than the flat part of this bit. So on our fifth pocket, this one, uh, that's what we did. We started at zero, ended at 0.55, did a 20%, 25% step over, and then went to come back and do our final pass. And I screwed up and forgot to change our uh, number of passes to one. So this would have just cut air and taken forever. So we fix that and this is what we have. It'll go through, rough it all out. And then on our final pass, start here, go down in one pass, give us a nice clean bottom, not crash our machine. It is the fastest that we can cut this and gives us our best finish. Hope that helps some of you that might have had this problem and stops others from suffering the same fate that I have many a times.